2016 was a year to remember for Jani after winning the 24 Hours of Le Mans and sealing the World Endurance Championship for Porsche. With a 33-year-old looking to do it all again this year, we joined him for winter training in his beloved Alps in Seefeld, Austria. This is why I love training in winter. I hate being in the gym inside. Uh, when you see this, what you can do outside, it's, it's just so much. The snow, the sun, the mountains, you just get so much energy out of it. First race of the year, uh, beginning of the season, I get asked, so what did you do over the winter? Uh, and I say, well, I was in the mountains training. It's really two, three months where you can really push hard and lay the foundation for the whole year in terms of fitness. Once you're here and you're training cross-country skiing or we're ski mountaineering, you really want to enjoy the scenery. You want to enjoy being outside, do your exercise, feel more into yourself and just get one with nature. And I think that's what is nice. And then you're ready to go in that hectic world again of racing or motorsports, just the opposite. So this is really the calming moment. Jani began training in Seefeld at just 18 years old, when the prospect of becoming a professional race driver started to become a reality. It was here he was introduced to trainer Helmut Fink, and the two have worked together ever since. Right from the beginning, he was motivated to improve and with every month he came for the trainings we made some step forward. The special thing on him is even after 15 years he doesn't stop and he is satisfied he still works hard enough to improve. The relationship with Helmut is very important because we spend so much time together off track training or on track uh, traveling together to the races. We push each other but that's uh, part of or nature of my job, you, you have to have competition. If you don't have competition, there is no need to become better at anything you do. When I train with the drivers, it's, it's a mix of endurance, power training, then a lot of coordination. And all in all also is the mental part of it to be strong when they come to the racetrack. We have to do so many switches inside the car, then we have to look about fuel saving, energy use, while driving, overtaking, trying to be still quick. So it's a lot of things that you have to absorb. You can do certain computer tests just to process all those things in the brain quick enough and correctly. This helps us then to be easier in the car. Well, I got into shooting tanks to Helmut. You have to look at your breathing. You know, when you're holding the rifle and you're at the target, but you're nervous and your heart rate goes quicker, and you feel how your, your whole body moves. This is very fine work, which you won't feel in the car, but it helps you in the car. The, the magic word is mental capacity. If you're on the limit, sooner or later you'll crash. But the more mental capacity there is free, the more time you have to do other things and think and, and react. As the 2017 season approaches, Gianni is joined by two stars of sports car racing in the new Porsche number one car lineup and has high hopes of matching his accomplishments of 2016. After three years with Mark and Romain, I will have uh, two new teammates with uh, Andre and Nick. Andre Lotter, I don't have to explain a lot about him. Uh, I think he has proven what he can do. And Nick as well, uh, he had a one-off two years ago with Porsche. He is also will be a great addition to the teams. So what can we do better? You know, this is small things. We know that Toyota, our main competitor, they will do very well this year. They have improved their car and it will be not at all easy to beat them. You know, you can always do better until you win every race, you got every pole position and uh, you win every championship. 